Well, this is something that a lot of people are not going to want to hear. But unfortunately, it is something that I had considered. So seeing this article confirming what I was already thinking really leads me to believe that this is a major possibility. And that is that these floods, these epic floods that are now occurring all throughout central Queensland and now into New South Wales, well, these are going to continue because this system is going to develop into a pattern. And that's what this article is stating. Cyclone likely to be repeated as part of monsoon cycle. And this is in the Courier Mail and was published on the 29th of January 2013. So it goes on to say that Queensland could face another cyclone in 30 to 60 days as part of the monsoon cycle. Under this cycle, a wet phase such as the current one is followed by a dry phase where storm activity is suppressed. Weather zone forecaster Alex Zadnik warned yesterday that should more rain arrive, the southeast and much of the Queensland coast was primed for major flooding due to soaked catchments. You have to be wary once soil becomes saturated, Mr Zadnik said. He said the situation meant dam managers would have to be extremely careful with releases but they are in close contact with the Weather Bureau's hydrologists and they are pretty good at taking this into account. Mr Zadnik said a complicating factor that made calculating the impact of floods difficult was changing land uses. Now this is really interesting, this article. And, you know, basically I was thinking this myself that the amount of water now, everything is just sodden. Everything is, the water saturation there is just, you know, 100%. So any further rain, it won't even have to rain very much for it to have a huge effect. Now, I think that the reason we're going to keep seeing this pattern repeating, and it's interesting that they don't actually mention this pattern, and this is the pattern we saw with Oswald, which is the cyclone that's just caused all this problem, is that it came in from the top end and then it kept sucking up the trough, which is full of moisture up here, and then dragging it down the coast very slowly. It was a very slow moving system. That's why it dumped the amount of rain that it did in these places. So I think that maybe because this polar vortex has split. You see, this is what's caused all of these weather patterns around the world to suddenly become very erratic and very intense because this solar vortex that was once one vortex has now split in two. So I recommend anyone that has not seen this video to watch it or at least read the article that is linked underneath. And then you will understand why we are seeing perhaps these weather events become patterns because the weather shifted, because the polar vortex is now split in two, that's created a domino effect on all the weather because that's now affecting the weather differently. The weather patterns have all changed. So I just think we should really be prepared for more of this type of weather and severe weather with wind and tornadoes. I mean, we've never had tornadoes like this here. And now we're having tornadoes and they're trying to call them mini tornadoes. Well, there's no such thing as mini tornadoes. They were tornadoes. And they're in Australia now. Things are changing, guys, big time. And they're about to keep changing. So, you know, I just watched um, Suspicious Observer's three minute report and I have to agree with him. If you live on the coast, you should seriously consider moving to safer areas because this is going to be something that continues. And 
you know, you just do not want to put yourself in that position where you have to basically, you know, fight Mother Earth. Don't want to do that. Well, okay, I will post this article underneath video as well as this polar vortex video so that you can have a look at what's going on and why these weather patterns have suddenly become more severe and yeah they're going to cause a lot of problems and they're going to continue to cause problems we've only just started our cyclone season let's remember that cyclone yazi that huge freaking monster cyclone that we had in 2011 you know, let's just don't, you know, let's just hope that we don't get another one of those. We've got February to, you know, really look to, and that's when Yazi came through. So, anyway, I will, as I said, link it underneath, and uh, you can check that out. And as always, guys, peace out.